What's up guys, I'm BTC. Today I'm gonna to show you an incredibly easy method for getting the all hero legendary no death achievement on the Storm Rising event. The first thing I wanna point out is the other players that are in this match with me are not high rank players. They're golds and silvers. I was the only high rank player in this entire match. So if a silver player can get this achievement, then any of you guys should be as well. And I didn't know any of these people. They're just randoms who I happened to get into a match with and it worked. We, we made it all the way through and we ended up dying one time towards the end. We tried again and then the second time we got it no problem. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the entire mission from start to finish. And I'm going to explain what strategies we're using, what's most effective, and what sort of little tricks you can do in order to make the entire game mode easier. Now again, we are playing on Legendary, this is all heroes, and the goal is to get the achievement for no one on your team dying. So we'll start with the team comp itself. I have a Torbjorn, a Bastion, an Orisa, and a Baptiste. Now I know that there are other team comps out there that use Double Healer, or a Mei, or D.Va. None of that stuff is really necessary. They all tend to involve strategies that are just way more complicated than it needs to be. Really, none of the enemies in this game, including the heavy assaults, are all that difficult that you can't just burn them down using the Baptiste's ultimate and the Orisa supercharger as well, combined with the, the Bastion damage from Sentry Mode and all that sort of stuff. So you don't have to use all these complicated strategies. You can just burn stuff down. So. Obviously, the main strategy that we have here is you just throw the shield out, you get the turret going, and then the Bastion does all he can. And then here's the thing that you'll probably notice is that we don't really take a lot of damage. Most of the damage that we take is just kind of little little chip damage here and there. It's, it's not really that big of a deal. And you did notice when the Assassin comes in, Baptiste drops the Immortality Drone. That makes it so that whoever gets hit can't get taken out. Makes it way, way easier. But again, the whole thing with double healer just isn't necessary because you don't really take all that much damage if you do the mission the correct way. So we're just going to kind of move in here and clear out the rest of this area. Now there's a few spots in this area that you can set up at. And the first one that a lot of people like to use is up on that top right. You can see it in that window right there. That is a really bad one. You don't really want to use that one. Uh, the reason why is because it's kind of enclosed and also, you know, it, it makes it difficult to actually attack the enemies and they can also flank you from multiple directions. Now the other one is on the right hand side of where I am right now. There's a, a barrel spot that it's in the corner on the top right. So if I, once I peek around the corner. So over there on the top right you can see that's where a lot of people like to set up. That's okay, but it's not really all that good because, again, there's too many places where you can get attacked. Now, the, where we're setting up right now is really good because the only way that the enemies can come up is through that one staircase. So we can have the Bastion and the turret sitting in that window and just attacking everything. And even the Rissa can be over there as well. And then just me as the Torb, I'm just sitting off to the side and I can easily deal with all the enforcers that come through. I can keep my distance and I can just use normal shots and take out those enforcers, get the criticals, no problem. And the reason why I like to put the turret over in that window is because you want it to be able to attack most of the enemies as they spawn. And more importantly, you want it to attack the snipers and the assassins. So again, they're up there doing their thing. I'm just kind of watching the bottom here, making sure that none of the enforcers are coming around. And once they do, then I'm going to start just taking them out at a distance. And if I need to, if there's a whole bunch of enforcers, then I can just use Molten Core. And I build it so quickly that it's really not that big of a deal. So you can see that there's a couple of enforcers here. I'm just going to keep landing the headshots again and again. They can't do any damage to me. Missed a couple there, but... So, like, they can't do any damage because I'm so far away. And anything damage that they do is going to be very, very minor. I have the armor. It's not a big deal. I can always use the overload if I really need to. And, uh, again, the assassin comes in. Immortality field to make short work of it. Not a big deal. We also took out a couple of those snipers as well. So, again, I can just use the overload and then right-click down the enforcers if they get too close. And now I'm just going to repair it because there's nothing else for me to do at this point. But again, you'll notice that my team just isn't taking that much damage. 
And again, I can just kind of kite these enforcers, couple of headshots, and that's it. it. It's not really all that difficult. Just now, the heavy assault has spawned in, it's below us, and it's going to be working its way over to this staircase. So I drop a bunch of the Molten Core Lava in its path, it has to take a tremendous amount of damage as it slowly walks through it and up the stairs. So what we're doing right now is he just charged in, and now we have all of the, the ults going off. And look at, look at how fast that Heavy Assault just got completely melted. We use the Amp Matrix plus Supercharger, and then Orisa stands in the front, so when he charges in, she just uses Fortify and stops him dead in his tracks. Then she drops another barrier in front of him if she needs to, and everybody just attacks, and the Heavy Assault gets melted. You don't need Double Healer, you don't need May or Defense Matrix or any of that sort of stuff. You just melt the Heavy Assault, and that's it. No need to make it more complicated than that. Not only that, but you also have Baptiste's Immortality Field. And if you have enough damage, you can take out that Heavy Assault before the Immortality Drone ever goes away. So right now I'm waiting on that left side because usually there's a bunch that spawn in. So I'm just gonna overload and then just quickly take them out. No problem. And again, you'll notice like how much damage have I actually taken for this entire mission? Not a whole lot. So again, you just don't really need that second healer. Now there are some places where it does get a little bit, a little bit, you know, touch and go, uh, but that's usually at the very end when the heavy assault is like right up in your face. So again, we're just gonna keep taking these guys out and then we're gonna have the, either a sniper or an assassin is gonna spawn in really soon. And for the most part, I'm just using the truck to kind of protect me from the sniper if it spawns. And the other players on the truck have the barrier. And see, they just took out the sniper. So they have the barrier, and they can use that to protect them. The Bastion just destroys the, the sniper, no problem. Uh, if there's an assassin, usually the assassin spawns right on that top of that middle part. So right now, I'm just I'm looking for the assassin because we're waiting for it to pop in. So right there above on the top left, you can see that the arch that you go the, through with the truck. Sometimes these, yep, there she is right there. So she spawned in, instantly obliterated, instantly obliterated. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of clean up the rest of this here and we're waiting for the truck to move in. And again, you'll notice that like, we're, we're just not even taking any damage. And one of the reasons is because we have so much damage output that things just simply don't get to attack all that often. So now we're gonna come up over on this side. And I think this is the best spot to set up. I like this area for a couple of reasons. The first is it's a good overlook of the entire area so you can attack all the enemies. The second, there's the box on the right. So you can hide behind that if the shield gets broken and you take too much damage, you can hide there and get healed up. The third thing is that there's the staircase that the heavy assaults have to very slowly walk up there in order to get to you. So you can deal a lot of damage while the heavy assault is just trying to get to you. And then when the second one spawns, you can start out by dealing damage, but since your ultimates are gonna be gone, your immortality drone is probably gonna be on cooldown, you can use that window behind you to just jump out of that and then run to the other side of the bridge and then finish off the heavy assault, the second one, which you're gonna see here closely. So there is a chance that they can spawn in right there, just overload and uh, right click them down a bunch. And also the immortality drone keeps you alive. Now there is a sniper over there. But again, I, I can just tag the sniper once or twice and then my turret will take him out. Unfortunately, my turret did get destroyed right there by the sniper. So I'm just gonna drop another one as soon as it's off cooldown. And now we can just take out the sniper again, super easy. And very soon we're going to get the heavy assault. So I'm just gonna drop a whole bunch of the lava on the ground. He's gonna have to go through it. And now we have the immortality drone active and we're just gonna absolutely obliterate him. I'm just gonna keep rapidly firing. Now, right now the Bastion did switch into, look at how fast the, the heavy assault is already gone. This is legendary mode guys, legendary. And the heavy assault just gets completely destroyed. Now, the Bastion did switch into tank, which I don't think is a good idea. I think he should have stayed in 
the sentry mode because he would have probably done more damage. I think he could have used the, the tank for uh, taking out the little guys. Now, I told everybody, okay, we don't have the cooldown for the immortality drone, so we have to back out. So what we did now is we went across the other side of the bridge, and I once more I have multi-core up, so I'm just going to drop it on the ground. And I'm going to come over to the side so that um, I can get behind it and I can just start right-clicking like crazy. And it's dead. So now all of the main part of the mission is over. We got a couple more enforcers and some troopers left. And that's it. Like, there's no need for any sort of complicated strategies with May or D.Va or even having double healer. Again, like, we took almost no damage for the entire thing. So there you go, guys. Legendary difficulty, no deaths, get the achievement. Anyone of any rank can do it. Super easy. Don't bother with all of that other complicated stuff. Just burn the enemies down real fast, and you should get the achievement. Good luck. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more, subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Also, come hang out in my Discord server and my Twitch live stream. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. If you'd like to see what kind of cool VIP rewards you can get, check the links down below. And remember, always, always blame the controller, because it's never your fault.